And now we will draw our slab for the garage and we're going to slope our slab very slightly to drain towards the overhead doors that are going to be over here. Um, so we can pick on this floor. Oh, I can't really pick on that floor. Oh, well, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to start my floor tool again. Floor. And the nice thing is it's going to remember all the last settings. This is the floor type. This is the, the level. Oh, okay. And it's assuming the level you're on. We want to be on the floor to be on top of me. Okay. I'm going to use the pick walls again. I'm going to pick this wall and this wall and this wall and this wall. Okay. And now I'm going to use my trim tool. Trim. Bim. Ping. Let's say I forgot. Let's let's do something. I forgot to trim that. Let's an undo and say, okay, finish. What if I try to finish, Revit's going to tell me that lines cannot intersect. They have to be a closed polygon. So you say continue, and that's when you go back and say, aha. Okay, now watch. I'm going to zoom in purposely. I'm going to take this guy. I'm going to pull it off just a smidgen. Okay? Like that. So you can't even really see it. So it's not touching. And you think, okay, it's all good. Finish. Aha. It's going to tell you you got a problem. TR for trim. Bink, bink. Or use your trim tool. Hit finish. You want the walls that go up to this floor level to attach. Almost always no. I don't think I've ever hit yes to that. The floor and roof edges or edges highlight um, overlap. Would you like to join them? No. So I always say no to those two. Do you want the walls to attach? No. Do you want to join the materials or elements? No. Uh, let's double click on our section and there's our garage slab pretty good but we want to slope it so let's go back to our top of footing well that's why we can't see it we're at top of footing let's go top of main okay now you can pick on this floor okay if this is on okay if this is off you can't pick a surface you have to only pick edges if this is on you can pick a surface now i'm going to go in here and say edit boundary because I'm modifying it. What I'm going to do is add in a slope arrow. Okay. In a slope. Oh, I got to go. I always get it the wrong way. Hit escape. I want to slope down this way. Okay. It can go up or down. The arrow just means the sloping direction. Okay. And then after you have to pick on the arrow, and this is where you define what the slope is. There's the height at tail. Oops. And then there's the, um, level at tail specified so you can specify by giving just basically saying you know here's a slope and then you can provide a slope over 12. well i don't really want to do that what i want to do is do an offset slope so i'm going to say height at tail so this is the head and this is the tail over here so height that tail is default that's good right at the the exact spot height offset at tail is zero Level at the head is a default with a minus, let's say, 50. Well, let's go 7. Yeah, let's say 50. So basically, it's going from right at the level to 50 millimeters below the level. So a 50 millimeter slope from here to here. Hit finish. Would you like? No. No. I wish I could turn that off. Escape, escape on the keyboard. And now I'm going to do another section section off of here which i've added to my quick access toolbar if you can't see it go up here section or right click and say add to quick access toolbar and that's over there pick on here try to get it straight right use your shift key shift key always keeps things straight click escape escape now i've created a section two watch double click and there we go and there you can see there's my slab sloping ever so slightly and we'll, we'll notch out the bucking of the of these um, walls uh, when we get our our doors positioned in there. Now in this section, I'm going to pick on the crop region and I'm going to just drag this out. Now, do I need to see all of that? Maybe not, right? Let's, let's just assume that, you know, all I really want to see in the section is there. Now, I don't even maybe want to see the building beyond. Watch, let's go back to our main floor. Let's pick on this section. 
And then I'm going to grab the far clipping plane and say, okay, you know what? I only want to see this far. That's it. Now, if I double click, I have a cleaner looking section, turn off my crop region. There's my opposing section. And I can take this and start to clean the stuff up, make it look nice. Double click opens up that section. This section happens to be set in and uh, shaded mode. Now there's my previous section, double click. You can go round and round all day if you want in here from one view to the next. So if you have lots of sections, you can just keep navigating your way through there. Okay. Um, now maybe let's put this right at the peak. Escape, escape. That way when I go in here, I'm seeing the top of the roof completely. Okay. And I can type HL on the keyboard or type hidden line. So there's my section going that way crop region okay 3d view oops escape escape wrong button 3d view so there's my slabs one sloping one knot and some cross sections let's do our save and getting up there 